Welcome to my seminar. This is going to be a life-changing experience for you. And I guarantee that if you follow the program, you'll be able to handle every discipline challenge you have, regardless of what age, regardless of what grade level, regardless of what subject level. We're going to start off first on understanding the difference between classroom management and discipline. The vast majority of teachers get the two confused. Even outstanding educators in their books talk about classroom management when they're really talking about discipline. So let me make it clear. Classroom management has got to do with making instruction efficient. Discipline, on the other hand, has got to do with impulse control and behavior. Now, chances are when you walk into a room, you don't notice the floor. But obviously, if the floor would not be there, you would notice it. That's what classroom management is like. Good classroom management has the transition from one activity to another so smooth you don't even notice it. But if you do not have good classroom management, you're going to run into problems. The key behind classroom management is teaching procedures. So let me give you an example or two. I don't know whether or not you, this has ever bothered you, but I'm going to grab a sheet of paper. Have you hear what I heard in my classroom? I have no idea if that ever bothered you or not, but it bothered me. So I asked myself, okay, what procedure can I teach? And I had my students take a sheet of paper and fold it like a hot dog. Doesn't make any noise, doesn't take much room on your desk and no and less room in the waste paper basket. I would be talking and all of a sudden someone is sharpening his pencil. Now of course what you would do is check your pencils before you come uh, as soon as you come into the room, but during the course of the class the pencil can break. If that happens you simply hold your pencil in your hand. When I finish my idea, my thought, I'll not you, that's when you sharpen your pencil. Anything that bothers you, your first thinking should be, what can I do, what can I teach, so that this will not bother me again. The biggest mistake teachers make is assuming young people know what to do without first teaching it. The key behind efficient, successful classroom management is teaching something, you model it, you teach it, and then you practice it, and then you reinforce it. Throughout this seminar, you will see me in an informal role, as you see me now. There are a few reasons for this. First and foremost, I want to entice you to make the most of your investment. If you implement just one of the many modules, your life will be better. If you implement two modules, you will be twice as effective. If you implement all of the modules, both your professional and personal life with others will be significantly improved. The format of the seminar is the same as when I present to a school, a school district, or for a seminar company. The main difference is that when I present in person, I eliminate quite a bit of what you will learn in this seminar. Since learning to be successful must be active in a live seminar, I have participants engaged in many activities, some of which I share in this seminar. The time limits of a live presentation and the necessity of having participants engaged in activities limits what I can present in a live seminar. There are no such limitations here. Some reflection, as one you are currently watching, will occur at the end of many of the segments. These reflections are included to have you implement what you will learn or have learned in each segment. To be rather blunt, if you do not implement what you are learning, 
your investment has been like any other visual activity, just entertainment. Some of you may be viewing this program individually, some with another person, and some with a group. I have tried to make this seminar fit all situations. When you complete this seminar, an option is available to earn from one to three university credits. Each graduate credit requires 15 hours. If you plan to work with me or work with the university for the credit, I suggest you immediately start recording the time that you invest in doing this seminar and the time you invest in follow-up activities. You can start this right now by listing five of your biggest irritants. Record them so that they can be shared electronically. After you have recorded them, list procedures that will eliminate your aggravation. Or if you prefer, wait until I share with you some examples and suggestions of procedures I have used to improve my own classroom management. It is very important to remember that the seminar is designed to implement the Discipline Without Stress teaching model. A last point before we continue. Please make a note of any question you have. My experience is that by the time you finish watching all the modules, I will have answered your question. However, to be sure I have, feel free to email me at marv at marvinmarshall.com after you have viewed all of the modules of the seminar. I will be conducting online video discussions with interested people who have completed the seminar. If you are interested in a question and answer session, simply email me your email address with the subject online course and I will contact you. In the text part of your message, indicate the general area and your time zone. I am in the Pacific time zone. The next module gives a little bit about my background and my experiences that led me to my developing the Discipline Without Stress teaching model based upon my teaching, counseling, and administrative experiences.